Hi guys, my name is Athena from Crafty Crusade. I have my shop on Etsy. I have a journal here I want to do a flip through of. It's two different kits from Calico Collage and they were just perfect. I thought they went together so well. So I mixed and matched different pages and added them to the book. So this one is eight and a half by five and a half and it's got five signatures. And I'm not exactly sure on the pages, but I'll have that in the listing. I'll also link my Facebook page where I post more pictures. I'll link my shop and I'll link Calico Collage with both of the kits that I used. So everything, you'll be able to find everything. Um, so here's the cover. I have some little embellishments on here. There's a little bit of feather and a bling sky above me earth below me fire within me this is bohemian chic and gypsy love those are the kit names so inside there's more of the little feather and embellishments and i did some stenciling not as much as i usually do because the pages died so cool. I really like a lot of the pages just the way they were. Um, also, in this journal, I used fabric for the trim instead of lace. And some of them I doubled up on the lace and it gave it a cool layered effect. I think it's cool. So I used coffee dye and then I mixed in a little bit of blue and there's a little bit of pink and I believe there's some green on some of the pages and then every single page is stitched almost all the way around some of them aren't fully stitched all the way around but here's a little pocket it's got a tag from the kit and then it's just like a metallic like gold I wanted it to match with the there's a lot of gold trim this is a copy typewriter paper I got from the thrift store and then some junk page there's a few ledger pages some lined pages and that's a kit page and this is a side tuck with my friend Vera Brown sent me a little rack and it was so cute and this went perfectly with the gold in the book. So I put this little die cut in and then there's these cool tags are from Calico Collage as well. It's actually a freebie if you go to her website and not that one. But you can add these to your projects. I've been adding them to everything that I make. And then a journaling card, a large one, cut from one of the kit pages. Stenciling. This is a triple tuck pocket. Journaling card, tag. This is in the kit too. Another feather. I added in some, like sparkly, well, it's more shimmery ribbon. And the fabrics that I used are, it's like a tie-dye. And then some of them are a pretty gold, I found. I don't have much of it left, so. I'm going to have to find more if I make another one of these. So there's the gold. It's really soft. I love that. And then some other fabric on the other side. Some of these, see the pages turned out so cool that I just, I didn't think they needed anything on them. They didn't need stenciling, but um, I also added some shimmer if you can see that.
graph page, and that's from the kit. And here's a cool one too. There's a journaling card. And a couple other journaling cards. And I just like layered different card stock here. Some tracing paper. And that's a pretty one. The kit, the Calico Collage kit, kits I use too, but um, her pages have this cool, like, it looks like there's actually glitter on the page. If you can see that. So I had added that shimmer to the other pages and then with the gold, the gold trim on the ends, I just thought it was so pretty. I don't normally do this bright of colors. I usually do like shabby chic. There's another feather, two feathers and some bling. But when I, when I saw these kits, I just had to try it. So. I think it worked out well. I really like this one. If I had more time, I'd make one for myself. And another kit page. This page is really pretty. And I layered the fabrics before I stitched. It really gives like a nice texture when you when you turn the pages. It's just it's just cool having that stitching on there. It takes forever, but it's definitely worth it. Journaling card, tag, and then this is a cool yarn. Actually, my friend Becky, she sent me a little rack the other day, and this was in there. I was like, wow, how'd you know I was going to do the same colors in a journal? So it worked out really good. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. And then these feathers I took off of, it was like a leather cuff like bracelet that I had. And it was sitting in my bedroom. I was like, okay, I need those feathers because there's feathers on the kit. So I had to take it apart and put them in here. Craft paper. This is a double-sided tag. And then Becky sent me this too. It's a cool ribbon with similar colors. And a little tuck tuck spot there. This is another side pocket. Um, some journaling cards. And then this is a cool, this was in my stash. I don't know where it was from. Probably Hobby Lobby. But I distressed it and it's nice and shiny. Goes with the gold in the book. So that went in. There's some more of that like metallic like ribbon. I'm going to do some fabric trim for a while, I think. I really like I really like how it worked out. Journaling card tag. It's more of this yarn. I wrapped it around before I attached the pocket. Gives a really cool texture and then there's some fabric and little things. This page I actually dyed and then I sprayed it with bleach. So I thought that turned out cool. I didn't do very many and I think that was my last one, but there's a cool page. It's like wood. And then 
line pages. All of the pages are stitched. I don't know if I said that already. There's some stenciling. And some of this fabric is like fraying and I like it like that. You could always trim it off if you really wanted to, but I just think it looks, looks cool in this journal. And this is the back page cover and then this is what the back cover looks like. So I'll have I'll have a bunch of the pictures on my Facebook page. If you would like to join, that would be great. Um, you can see any of my journals sometimes before I post them or before there's a video or anything. And then I really thank everyone who watches this because I looked the other day and I saw 50 followers or 50 subscribers on my YouTube and I wasn't sure anyone was really going to watch it, but I really appreciate it that you watch my flip throughs and things. So thank you. And